Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and another episode of Top 5 Plays, the series where I feature the best, funniest and weirdest clips from the community. In this episode we will be taking a look at some epic plays on Bespin or with stuff added in the Bespin DLC. A huge thank you for all the submissions, I was overwhelmed by all the clips from the Bespin DLC and I'm glad I had a lot to choose from. If you have a clip to submit you can do so through the link in the description below. Tomorrow is also the last day to enter the giveaway for the HD60 but I will talk more about that at the end of the video. Video. Now let's jump straight into it. Starting off we have Tesla who is playing some blast on the administrator's palace map and he shows us a very good combination with the new shock grenade. Throw in the grenade and lock down the enemies in place and then use a thermal detonator to finish them off as they won't be able to dodge it. He manages to pick off three enemies by doing this and I'm sure we'll see more of this or similar combinations in the game when more people unlock the shock grenade. On the number 4 spot we have nice Sam45 with a pretty epic ion neutralizer kill. I asked for ion neutralizer clips and you guys delivered. The cool part here isn't that it hits the ship but the fact that the A wing is coming straight from above and hits it with such a timing that the A wing doesn't have time to pull up and therefore crashes straight into his partner in the ATST and kills him. Talk about betraying your friend, sort of. I never get tired of seeing all these ships crash down uncontrollably after being hit by an ion neutralizer. At the number 3 spot we have Flask Mail who shows us that the Bowcaster is really back in action after the Bespin patch as he manages to get a triple kill with it. That is not something we have seen for a very long time. Don't worry though, it's not at all as good as it was back when the game was launched. It's pretty well balanced now and he was just very lucky. On the honorable number 2 spot we have that fry guy who pulls off an epic shot to take down a cloud car. As you know they are very weak and die easily, but he doesn't just stand still and shoot it down, but he does a sideway roll, jump packs and in the air kills it with his pulse cannon. The way he flies sideways aligned with the cloud car really makes for a beautiful sight. At the number 1 spot we have the Grand Knight Duck who shows us the true power of Dengar. As soon as I played him the first time I thought, Man, he must be good in the corridors of Surasub Centroplex, and well, this guy shows that I was correct. It may not be the hardest clip to get, but it's so perfect that I thought it deserved the number one spot. He gets 14 kills in a very quick succession, and starts off by wiping out a couple of enemies with the explosive rush, and then kills Luke and a bunch of more rebels with the hurricane strike. Keep in mind that this was before they nerfed the hurricane strike against Luke though. Lastly, and my favorite part of the clip, is when he pops the frenzied blast and wipes out another 4 rebels. This ability is very hard to master on many maps due to the recoil, but this is the exact situation that it's made for, and to me this was the most epic play of this week. That brings this episode to an end, make sure to let me know in the comments below what your favorite clip was, and as always a big thank you to Elgato for sponsoring the series. If you're looking for a way to record and stream Battlefront gameplay from any platform, check out their website in the description below. Tomorrow is also the last day to enter the June HD60 giveaway. I will be announcing the winner on Twitter and in the next episode. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the force be with you.